Commuting my bike is awesome. Yeah. It's better for the environment. It's better for your health. It's cheaper. And it's more fun. But the question is, what is the best bike to do it on? We're going to find out. A few years ago, we did just that. But since we made that video, a lot has happened. TikTok has been invented, Kim Kardashian has become a billionaire, and then there was also something called COVID-19, which also affected the world of commuting, along with e-bikes, which have become a thing, and gravel bikes too. Plus, the price of the train is now extortionate. On that original route, it's a tenner per day and rising, which for a 12-minute journey makes it per mile one of the most expensive train tickets, certainly in the whole of the UK and perhaps on the entire planet. So seeing as the global and the commuter landscapes have changed so much, we thought it was time for another challenge. Ribble are helping out with this video. They make basically every type of bike you can wish for. And so we've each been able to choose the bike that we would most like to ride to work on. And this one is mine. It's the Gravel SL, fast on the road, off the road, it's versatile, it's fun. All right, Man Sally. on. What's that? Like a lightweight, traditional road bike with mud guards. I did not have you down as the type. The only traditional thing about this is the mud guards, but it could just as easily be a fast road bike or a fast gravel bike. It's the CGR, the do-it-all bike. I admit, this is a do-it-all no, no, bike. No, no, yeah, no. No, this... no, no, it's not. What do we have here? You've turned up on a Ferrari, Ollie. Fair yeah, play. yeah, I have, yeah. Well, wow. I mean, it's potentially even faster with me on it. This is the Ultra SLR. Aero is its middle name. Well, technically, is isn't SL its middle name. Whatever. Anyway, it's clearly the best bike to commute on because it's the fastest, which means that I can take a longer route to work or I can have a lion. Is it fast enough to stop you being late to work? That That's a good question. Is the question. I'm not even the last one here. Hey, guys. Connor, what on earth are you wearing? You've not even got changed yet. What are you talking about? I'm already, I'm already ready. On my way to work, this is what people wear. Serious people wear to the office. Is it? Yeah. Got a nice shirt. I want to prove that you don't need to wear spandex to ride a bike. I'm in character today. You do realise it's at least 20 kilometres and it's the hottest day on record ever. You're going to need a shower when you get there, mate. No, we'll see about that. We'll see. Off to work we go. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. The challenge is set. Not Connor needing a shower, although that will be interesting. No, it's aero bike versus do-it-all bike versus gravel bike versus e-bike. Which is the best bike to ride to work on? And what does best even mean? We don't yet know. However, we can be fairly sure that we will at least be faster than the crew. Come on, cyclists, you don't even pay road tax. Our start and finish are 20 kilometres apart, but whereas in a car you would drive exactly the same way each and every day, on the bike you have option after option after option after option after option, depending on time, weather or just your mood. See you later, guys. Where are you, where are you going, mate? You better not be catching the train. That is against the rules the this time. Well, exactly. Right, Ollie, we're going straight here, mate. That's not the fastest way. What are you doing? Why is he doing that way? I don't know why those two clowns have gone that way. As the guy said, I'm riding the cycling equivalent of a Ferrari. Although, being British, more apt comparison is probably a McLaren. But this is a road bike that is built for pure speed. It's an absolute weapon. I mean, look at it. And when you combine that with this outrageous custom paint job, I mean, it makes it even cooler and even faster. Okay, man, I'm, I'm getting left up here. I've got some dirt to shroud. Shroud? Shroud, yeah. You're definitely not cool enough to say that. What? That's a bit hard. See ya. See ya. It's quite a relief to be on my own, actually. So who honestly rides off-road to work? Me, I do. Genuinely, this is one of my routes to work. Now, I don't do it every day, and it does take longer than the direct route, but it's almost always worth the effort of getting out that front door 30 minutes earlier. It's just so calm, like you avoid traffic. I almost literally don't see traffic. Slugger! Now, riding 
off-road in the dust it is great but site isn't going to be so smug for the other 360 days of the year when it's muddy now for a commuter bike and it might be a little bit different where you live but i think practicality is key i want my bike to work perfectly keep my bum and feet dry and be nice and comfortable yeah so where on earth am i and what am i doing well you might have guessed i'm on an e-bike I don't need to batter myself to work. I'm just chilling, getting some light exercise in whilst traveling at 25 kilometers an hour, which is the perfect speed because I'm taking the bike path all the way to work. It may take me a little longer. It's not quite as direct, but I'll be there within the hour and I won't see a car. While it might seem extravagant for me to ride a bike like this to work, why not? I mean, it has all the aero innovations and features of the top spec model, but an entry price of £4,400, which is still a hell of a lot of money to spend on a bike. But if you put it into car terms, I mean, that's like an old second-hand Ford Focus. And I know what I'd rather be riding, plus with petrol prices being what they currently are, it's not going to take long for you to <laughs> recoup the cost of a four grand bike in petrol. And to be honest, I'd rather be riding a bike like this, even in the rain, than being sat in traffic. I'm off the trails for a little bit, back onto tarmac. I've got a smidge of main road before the next proper bit of off-road into the hills. There's trails in them there hills. Kind of burst your bubble a bit when you pop out of the trails onto a road. It's not the world's worst road mine, but still, I cannot find a way to avoid this, what, two mile section maybe? So you just got to grin and bear it. Now the CGR is your all road type of bike. That meaning if you were to put narrow tires on you, you'd have a road bike. But if you were to opt for chunkier, wider tires, you'd easily have a gravel bike. And the versatility on this bike is perfect for most riders. I don't know about anybody else, but on my commute into the office, I want the shortest way there. I don't really want to be doing extra kilometers. And on this, I can. Cruising on my e-bike, on the bike path. Doing gentle exercise right now may seem like a world away from Ollie or Cy, but it's just as good for your health. There's a raft of scientific studies which say that the health benefits from cycling with a motor on board are still there. Speaking of which, let's have a battery update. Still going strong. I do believe my bike is the do-it-all bike. I could be on nice smooth tarmac one minute, in a field the next minute, or even on some gravel. I mean, come on, Ollie is not gonna do that on his Ferrari, is he? Do I mind riding on main roads? Well, it's not my first choice, but no, I don't mind. Although there are some sections of road that are worth avoiding, which is why I've taken a slight detour here to avoid a particularly scary bit of dual carriageway. Although just like Sai, you know, if I, if I got out of the house 15 minutes earlier, I could take an alternate route down quiet lanes in the hills. And when you're riding a bike this aero and this fast, well, it's just like going on a normal ride. The best thing about riding an e-bike for me is that even on the hottest of days like we have today, it's still just so relaxing. You're not sweating buckets load like I'm sure Si and Ollie are right now. Last little rise coming into Bath. Come on. I must have smashed them. I'm near like 40k an hour the whole way. What am 
I supposed to do with that? Do you think heat makes cows more angry or less angry? Hopefully less, because as we all know, they are savage. It's okay, little dudes. Now, one of the things that I've learned from observing cows is that they actually hunt in packs. So although that lot has sort of lured me into a false sense of security, it's quite likely that there's a couple of real big ones lurking behind a bush up here. And they're the ones that are gonna jump out like complete, I wanna say madman, but obviously it's a cow. Okay, we have to put the GoPro away because if I need to sprint, I'm going all in. Right, coming into the center of Bath now. And as always on a commute, I always feel so smug going past traffic. I don't know what it is, but I'm like, look, I want a bike and I'm gonna get to the office faster than you. I always feel so good, you know. There he is. Thought you'd be a first, Ollie. Anybody else here? Nope, you're second. Oh, dreams. Should we get some coffees in? I've got smoothies. Oh, nice. It's got to be said, this is the best way to get to work. I definitely have chosen the best bike for the job. Better than the rest of the other three. I'm going to convince them of that when we get to Bath. I'm not having it any other way. It's perfect. I mean, I can carry loads of stuff on the panniers. I've got the motor to assist me. It's also quite lightweight, so if I did want to get on a train at any point, I've had another important business meeting off in the big smoke, I could take a little train journey, get it out the other side, ride to my destination. All the gears I need, it's brilliant. Right, Whoa. last climb which means that that is the last descent and it is a good one. This is the point, more than any other point, where I'm gonna be super glad that I've got a proper gravel bike with big fat tires on. I reckon actually I'd put even bigger tires on. There's plenty of clearance on here to be able to do that. A mountain bike, I guess you could say, is probably a better tool for the job for this particularly rocky descent, but then I'd have had to have dragged the mountain bike along for the previous 25 Ks, and that is the point at which drop handlebars just make the bike feel so much quicker. Right, I think I'm gonna be the last one there, aren't I? Probably the one with the biggest grin, but I'm probably gonna be last. I right, made it to the outside of Bath, coming into the city, getting through the little twisty streets, and then I made it to work. Ready for some important business matters. A few little climbs to get up, but uh, the e-bike is making light work of them, which is definitely the benefit for me. Looking forward to seeing how the others have got on. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, I'm not last. Where's Cy si talking to cows? Look at those sweat Don't know. Well, right, that on. was a beautiful ride, I've got to say. Got you a smoothie. It. There you go. I'll just dump this here. Oh, better not. Watch your Ferrari. Okay. Last couple of minutes now. Looking at the clock. I'm either going to be dead last, or I might just have beaten Connor. But that last little bit is always slower than I think. The amount of times I've been late to work because I've been up there. Don't tell work I said that. Nice smoothie. Oh, here he is. Oh no, I'm last. Ah, to be expected, I suppose. I have been, mm. well, a long, the long way to work, but still. Um, smoothies, did you get me one? No. Oh. Sorry. Oh, okay, all right. Well, we're not here for smoothies. We're here to decide the best bike, okay? Have you, just, have you changed your minds on the way in, Manon? No, I'm really happy with mine. I think mine's a winner. Yeah. I mean, it's good all year round. It's got mud guards. I'm never going to arrive to the office with a wet bum or a wet bag. I mean, it can change the tyres. It can be a road bike one day. It can be a gravel bike the next day. It's great. And titanium is pretty cool. Yeah, reliable. All right, Connor? I think mine's the best, for sure. I'd choose it every time. Yeah, I mean, it's got a motor on for one. 
Fair. So anyone could have ridden at the same pace mm. that I did. That is fair. Yeah, it's got the panniers at the back, so I could have carried all my shopping home too. All, all my your off office files. Gas as well. Yeah. I was going to raise that point too, Manon. Um, and I love it. I mean, you can jump on your casual clothes, get to work. You guys have to go to change rooms now. Yeah, did, well, you... well, did you get sweat patches? I don't think I did. I mean, I, I can smell something. I'm not sure who it's. It's not me. I think it's that's cow smell. Yeah, sorry. Well, you do have a sweet outfit on. Well, exactly. Right. Yeah, I'm looking smart. My bike is amazing, it feels so fast, but the more I think about it, no, I, I wouldn't want to commute on a Ferrari. Really? No. Nah. Well, if I had a Ferrari, I wouldn't commute in it, and it's, I feel the same about that bike. I'd rather save it for the weekends, you know, and just have something a bit more, you know, utilitarian. But it's not actually a Ferrari, so there's no problem riding that Monday to Friday. So you could have that weekend feeling on a Monday morning and a Tuesday morning and a Wednesday morning. And it doesn't matter because you, you can still maintain it relatively inexpensively, certainly compared to a Ferrari. It just feels too special. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I think with this one, I'm really tempted, really tempted to say this one, but I think actually... I would probably go with man on CGR because whereas this is more of an out and out gravel bike, like realistically, I don't need all the bosses for carrying bags and stuff like that. I'd want one where for 70% of the time I was riding on tarmac to and from work. And so it feels more like a road bike. And then 30% of the time I can do my off road commute and it'll still be amazing. Even if I can't fit quite such fat tires or go quite so quickly down the rocky descents. So I think it, I'll probably go with Yeah, Manon's. I think mine's a winner. I think it is. Mm. What about you then, Ollie? You've pretty much got the casting vote then. If you're not going to go with your Ferrari... I'd, I'd go with, with either yours or Manon's, simply because I'd prefer to carry my stuff on the bike and not on my back. Really? Hang on. I can't believe you're not going with mine. I've got a motor. I'm going to be cruising on a 25 kilometre that everywhere, all the hills. Imagine you had a really stressful day at work. You just want to kind of cruise home, make it there. And you don't want to suffer. You just want to enjoy it. To be fair, if you've had a really stressful day at work, sometimes you just want to absolutely slam it home as fast as you possibly can. On an e-bike. Mull it yourself. All right, I tell you what, how about this then? So the e-bike is amazing because anyone can ride to work, even if it's 20K, 25K, and that is brilliant. If you're more experienced or you're a fitter cyclist perhaps, then a do-it-all bike like man on CGR is the one because most of the time realistic you have a road bike most of the time you probably want mud guards on it but then sometimes you can stick wider tires on and then if you are fortunate enough to be able to have two bikes then maybe you go for Ollie's and mine yeah I'd agree with that yeah I agree yeah Okay, I, I, I agree to disagree, but there you go. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a consensus in a video before. How cool is that? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. What is the best type of bike to commute on? What do you commute on? And if you don't, what could persuade you to ride to work? Let us know in the comments section down below. 